What do you think about all the liberty violating policies the government has established? Like the TSA porno scanners and highway checkpoints and everything being subject to licenses and permits. As long as it keeps us safe and keeps the wrong people out of America, I'm all for it. After all, if you aren't doing anything wrong, what do you have to hide? It isn't about hiding anything. It's about liberty and basic human rights. And decency. Plus, it's about protecting your privacy from people who have no right to pry. Security is an illusion, especially when you give up essential liberty for security theater and counterfeit laws that attempt to regulate or control things other than aggression or theft. If you don't like it you are free to move to Somalia or somewhere else where no government will bother or protect you. Really? You ran out of justifications that fast? What do you mean? This is America. Love it or leave it. Suppose you live in a house where I claim to be the head of the household and as such I claim to have certain rules for living under my roof. Say I reserve the authority to stop and search any family member at any time. Not just while they were under my roof, but anywhere they might be. Your house, your rules. Suppose I make up rules regarding how fast they may walk in the house, even in their own room, and even if no one else is present. Then I make up rules dictating what they are allowed to buy with their own money, and how much of their money they must turn over to me, not for rent or food, which are charged separately, but just for the privilege of existing. Suppose I tell them who they may invite over, who they may do business with, or who they are allowed to marry. Suppose I dictate what color sheets they are allowed to put on their bed, or what they can read while relaxing there. Suppose I make them pay a ransom on each thing they buy with their own money. So what? Maybe you are going a little far, but it is your house. Is it really? My house? Suppose I tell them I own their body and I dictate what they can and cannot do with themselves. What they are allowed to eat, drink, smoke, or otherwise ingest. It's for their own good. I will also demand they allow me to photograph them naked, or grope their body in an intimate and invasive way before they leave the house, or perhaps even when they try to go from room to room in the house. No one would ever do something like that. You're being ridiculous. If they complain about this treatment, I, backed up by the other members of the household who see nothing wrong with this system, say to them if you don't like it, move in with another family somewhere. If the unhappy person decides they don't like living in the house, under my rules, they can theoretically move out, but only with my permission and under my conditions. Even if they move out, they will still be ordered to hand over a percentage of the money they will earn. Plus, I will demand they give me most of their property before they leave. If they don't want to abandon their property or other loved ones to the abusive head of household they are told to shut up and stop complaining. Such a head of household would be an abusive, insane, monster, who would be subject to self-defensive actions by those he abuses. Yes, he would. Welcome to the America of the Love It or Leave It Pinheads.